Should a vehicle service center have all the latest amenities and high prices to match, or is there a better option for the average car owner? Hey y'all, it's Catherine, and today, for today's marketing and design analysis, I'll be looking at Denny's Service Center, an auto repair shop in my area. This is a great repair shop that's served generations of guests, including my own family. It's also been run by generations of another family. Now, I didn't admittedly go to Denny's at first. I was going to another store for a while, but they did not check my car well enough and basically allowed me to ruin my first car. My mom suggested then that I go to Denny's where she goes and I've been happy ever since, even with my newer car. They have great reliable service and they've been able to help me at almost a moment's notice. For instance, with my first car, I was about three miles away from home when I heard a noise and they towed my and I got my car towed to Denny's and they were able to fix it within two hours for like thirty dollars. It's a simple but wonderful place. As for the marketing, they have a great Facebook page that's filled with tips, tricks, articles, and questions for car owners. They do have a website, though I found it to be very busy and a little hard to navigate, and I felt like I ran into dead ends at some points. I would love to see this brand have an Instagram too. I feel like it'd be a great way for them to showcase the kind of work they do instead of just the tips and tricks from their Facebook page. They could show photos from inside the shop to let their followers know how the workshop functions. An awesome thing that the Denny Service Center does for the community is they contribute to a number of fundraisers for the high school in the area. They've been featured on a number of discount cards. Because Denny's is also the name of a famous restaurant chain, I think a distinguished logo would be a great choice for an improvement in the Denny's brand. That wouldn't cost too much. It would make their business stand out and it would give them more than just their old building to show on their Facebook page profile. That being said, I've decided to go about creating a logo and a mock-up website for them. Here's the new logo. I included new font, new colors, as well as some illustrated elements. Here's the new website mock-up with new logo and colors. Though it includes the old links, it's more cleaner and easier to navigate. Because this business has such good prices, their building and site unfortunately doesn't look the best. And even though the ones who go know it's a good place, I fear it could scare away some potential customers. I don't know if they have to do work with this as it's not exactly marketing oriented, but if they could make some small changes, it would certainly help their brand. Final thoughts. This is a good reputable business with good people working there and a lineage of great service to the community. It does struggle visually as a brand, what from the location and the website and even the logo, but this is all done in an effort to keep costs down, I imagine, and it works because so many people already trust them and appreciate those low prices. I am impressed with how they keep up with their social media page on Facebook, though. Plus, they contribute to local fundraisers, which is really admirable, in my opinion, for being such a small service station. They are truthful, helpful, and respectable. Thanks guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you soon. Bye!